Hi everybody. So today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to make this uh, this pendant. So uh, you can see, so it's it's sterling silver and it's uh, some really, really lovely amber cubes. So the amber cubes are drilled and we've got three different sorts here. So they're all the same size and we've got our sterling silver wire here. So the pendant's made up of... Um, components that we're, that we're going to make and then we're going to put them together. So, so again, it's a really nice versatile piece of wire work. So if I show you the components uh, that we're going to be making and how when we put them all together, they can make lots of um, lots of different sorts of wire work. So it's this component that we're going to make. So just singularly there, you can see how that's that's looking. So if I sort of turn it all the way around, you can see how, how that looks there. So it's made up of a structural wire, so a 0 0.8 and a 0 0.4 sterling silver wire. So, like I say, it's quite a, um, a useful little component because what you can do is you can make yours. So if I pop that down there, I can show you a couple of um, varieties of how you can use it and how I've used it. So I've put a couple together. I've linked a couple for um, to make the pendant. You see, that's a nice look there. So you can see how that's there. And then you can group a lot of them together. So, so this one, they're sort of they're sat next to each other. Uh, and then you can see so uh, this variation, which is the bracelet, where so I've linked them, and so rather than sort of sitting side by side like that and linking them like that, we're linking them lengthways. So you can see how it's a very very versatile, nice piece of wire work. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to have a go at making making those today. Let's have a look at the materials then that we use for this project. It's actually not very much. Um, so you've got your um, you've got your beautiful amber, the cubes. So you can see these and these are through drilled. And you, what you also get on the amber strand is you get the lovely spaces as well, and we use those too. So we've got our we've got our amber, and then we've just got two sorts of wire. So we've got our structural wire, our 0.8, and we've got a meter of that. And then we've got a metre of our finer 0.4, so we're going to bind with that as well. Um, and, that, and that's really all the materials that we're going to use. Um, Tools-wise, so I'll just move these out of the way so we can have a little look. Again, you're going to use your standard pliers that we use on most projects. So your, uh, your cutters, and it's useful if you've got your flush cutters. Your chain nose pliers, your round nose pliers. Um, if you've got them and you want to make your own jump rings, um, I use my step bail making pliers and that was really useful if you haven't got any jump rings in your stash because so I made mine out of the 0 0.8 so you could do that as well. Um, if you've got a hammer and block that's really useful too so we can hammer the little um, sort of the fringe detail on the bottom of the pendant um, and then the other thing that if you've got one uh, is really really useful and that's your um, that's the uh, the wire crinkler tool. So I love this tool and I use it all the time. So I actually buy um, a couple of them and I use two lots of the um, the ones with the handle. If you haven't got um, if you haven't got two of them, then you can absolutely do it no problem. So one's got the handle and one hasn't, and we're just going to feed it through. But because I use this tool a lot, so I have I do use two two handles. And the one we're going to use is the um, is the more angular cog rather than to like the, the the softer one there okay so you can see that's a slightly softer gentler shape so we're going to use the really angular one because we want it to go around those the angles of the of the cubes so those are the tools that we're going to use so let's get started okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to prep our um prep our wires so we want to take it from the straight wire that we've got and use the tool so that we make it into the 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 crinkled wire so that we can use that as a nice base for the for the amber to sit in so what we're going to do is you've got, so in your crinkler tool, you've got a little hole here. There's a guide for the wire to go through. And then we're going to run it through the two cogs. And we're going to push and turn away from us. And the, so we're going to have straight wire going in. It's going to go through the cogs and come out crinkly the other side, hopefully. So let's see how this goes. So I'm just going to get rid of any kinks out now. Pop that into here. So it might need a little bit of just gentle encouragement to start off with. So you can see, so this is where I'm using both of the, the handles, but you can absolutely just use the one and just push down if you need to. So you can see how it's, it's going in straight, coming through the, the cogs and coming out the other end with that nice crinkle. So I'm just taking my time, working it through, and then so I can snip off here and 
bring this through. So I'll just keep going and you can see how that's going to look now. So that will have done a couple of things. So it's shaped the wire, so you can see there, and it's also hardened it, which is really nice as well. So we know we're going to have a nice firm base for the, for the stones to sit in. So if I move that out of the way. So what we want to do now is I'm going to snip this in the middle and we're going to start and, and pair these wires up now. So what you're looking for is you're going to be creating a, creating a structure for the, uh, for the amber cubes to sit in. So we want to make it so that it's going to sit nicely like this. So we're looking to, we know that when we start, what we definitely need is we need two almost like half pieces. So if I pop that there so you can see, so if we get rid of that little that little bend there. At a minimum, you'll need half of the, if that's a full diamond here, we'll need half because then we're going to turn this in. So we turn that into a loop, which means, so if I show you this one here, you can see how that turns into the loop there, which, which that allows us to connect to other pieces. So you must start with a minimum of that half a diamond there. Okay, so if I just pop that down, I'm going to pick up my 0.4. So you have to bear with me as well because I've got a very squeaky chair. So I'm sure in the middle of this it's going to do a big squeak. So I promise you it is the squeaky chair. Okay, so I'm going to take a length of this 0.4. Snip that off. Okay. So I'm going to start off. So I'm going to pick up my pick up my one wire. So remember we, we must have that that little edge here. So I'm just going to put a couple of wraps on this bit now. So you're looking here for a guide really. It's not going to be, uh, at first when you're um, you're binding two structural wires and a, jet and a, and a stone um, with only a very, very uh, fine piece of wire. So at first it probably will be a little, feel a little bit um, like it's not very stable. Um, but you can absolutely go over and make it a lot more secure afterwards. So if you can see I've left a tail here and I'm popping that one next to it. So I'm going to support that with my finger here. And what I might actually do now, I'm just going to hold that out of the way. So I've got now my 0.4. So I'm going to start and pick up one of my ambers. So you can see I've got a nice drill hole there. You'll get, you, I mean, that goes on to, um, that would go on directly to the, uh, the structural wire as well. You could absolutely get a one mil or a 0.8 through there. So I've got this now. So I'm going to pop this onto, so if I just pop that one down a minute, and I'm going to bring this so that it sits into that angle. So it's sitting on the diagonal there. So if I just move my finger, you can see how that's going to sit in there. Okay. So that's sitting into almost like a bezel setting around it. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring that up. Take my other piece. So remember, make sure that you get that the right way. And that's gonna go in here. So like I say, this first bit is a bit fiddly because you've got nothing really, other than a couple of wraps of 0.4, you've got nothing really holding it all together. So I'm just gonna hold here, a bit of tension to get that so it's sitting nice and tightly. Tuck it around. And we'll wrap a couple of times on the other side and so that those binds are nice and neat together. And hold that there. So now what we can do, and we've got this in here, we just need to go back to the beginning where we've got this little tail. So I'm going to just take that there. I'm just going to pick up one of the um, one of the silver spacers that you get on the strand and pop that in. So that's just going to give us that little nice little detail there. Okay. Hold that together and just come and wrap a few times behind that so that that's sitting nicely there. Okay, so now we want this wire, so it's on this side, we want it to actually be over here. So I'm going to hold here and just come in and bind three times, once, twice, three times, so we're ready to put our next cube on. So I'm going to go, so it's almost like that ombre effect as well. So I'm going to thread that on and bring that in there. Okay, so again, I'm going to wrap that round. So you're going to keep doing that. So again, so I'm going to go round once, twice, 
three times and I've got my last one. So you could carry on and on and on because you've got you've got lots and lots of ambers on the strand. But I had mine in groups of three so that I wanted them to be these connectors. But you could just keep going, keep going, keep adding them on. So I'm the last one now. So I've gone round and this one. So now I'm going to bring that up so it's pointing forward. And I've got another one of the spacers. Pop that on. And that's going to go on there. So again, I'm doing, I don't know if you saw the demo before, so I'm doing this in almost like a shoebox. So I am, um, please bear with me for, for the quality of the demo. Okay, so I'm going to bring this round. So that's just tucked in there. So we don't need that bit now. So I can snip off that, that bit and get rid of that. And we also don't need the tail at the back. So let's get rid of that one as well. So all these little bits, so make sure you just, you're just snipping off that 0.4. Let's get our pliers. Just nip that in so it's nice and neat. And the same on that one. So if you're gonna wear this as you know bracelet or uh, next to the skin, you don't want anything sharp there. So on this one, so remember we've got the half of the, the diamond on this side, so we need to do the same on the other. So let's just go in and snip off here and snip off there. So that is enough now to just turn a very, very small loop. So if I get my round nose pliers. So I'm just going to hold here, support it all. Try and get it to the right to the tip if you can, and just bring that round. So what that does now is getting rid of that sharp edge that's sticking out, but it's also allowing us. We know that we've got a connector now. So if you wanted to do the uh, do the bracelet, you're obviously going to make several of these these connectors. Bring that in. If you want to do the pendant, so you need to do two. So if I just go to the other end and bring that in. And this one here. So make sure they're tucked in nicely there. Okay, so you can see, so I've got my two there. And you can see how, because we've used the, um, we've used the, um, the crinkler tool, so it's really nice and neat, so we know that they're gonna sit nicely together. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them all, all together. So we've made all our components. And this is where we're going to put everything together now. So I've got my individual um, links with the three ambers and I've, I've turned in so I've, now I've got connector loops. So what I did with, um, with the remainder of my uh, 0.8, if you've, got, if you've got jump rings at home uh, and you're happy to use those, great. If, if you haven't, don't forget you've got all this lovely 0.8 uh, wire here so you can make your own. So to do that, I just use my step bail making pliers and you're going to make a almost like a mini gizmo. So a little spring, little coil, like that. Okay, and you're going to go in with your flush cutters, line it up, and just go in either side and just snip off so you've got two flush sides. You'll lose a little bit of the metal, but then what you've got there is you've got your, you've got your jump rings that you can use. Okay, so I've made a few of those. So what I'm going to start to do now is link them all together. Okay, so I'm going to I've opened some of them. I'm just going to go into the loop that we made there and go into the other one and close that up. So I'll just try and come in again. So we're into the in the in the shoe box and with my huge hands. So bear with me. So I've gone and closed that. Make sure that it's closed up nicely. See, the other thing that's really nice with this is you have got some movement. So it's almost like articulated, which is a lovely effect. Nice light amber as well. Okay, so I've got my other, my other one, and that's gonna go in here. So you can see why those, those loops of turning the loops are really, really important because that, that sort of gives us the hanging point. And again, we go massive hands, here we are. Close that up. Okay, so we've now got the, that joined together. So you could just leave it like that if you wanted to, and you've also got a hanging point from here and a hanging point from here. But I wanted to add, I'd, I'd got some of the, um, the 0.8 silver wire left, so I wanted to make these almost like these, uh, the tassels at the, at the bottom here. 
so to do those and you can make a, you know as, as many of those as you want really as you've got um as you've got wire left over so to make these these little uh, almost like the eye pins i'd use uh, they're about three centimeters so if i just show you so you've got your again to straighten it out get rid of any kinks i just put a little loop at the top So I've measured out my three centimetres, and the three centimetres on mine included uh, the loop here. So I just snip that off. And I've gone in, I won't do it because we don't want a big headache now, but I'll show you the show you what I've done. So I just pop that to the side with my hammer and just gone in and hammered that section, which then gives it so that gives you that nice that nice detail so if I show you the difference here we are so you can see so that's flattened and it's giving me that extra luster with the because I've got the angles on there so I've gone on I've done um I've done nine of those so I'm just going to add those in now so I've got my again taking one of my jump rings so let's thread some of these on so if you can put the put the um the join at the back just so that it's, it's neater and go in and add those. So I'm going to close that up. So remember, we want this so that it's pointing and facing this way. So to do that, how we're going to do that is we're going to add another jump ring in there. So I'm going to pick up one more, pop that on, and again we're going to go back into these these loops that we've done, and just close that up. That we've got that that detail there so again so if i sort of show you so i've got my i'd have i've got a, my bail coming up so i've just put another jump ring from here and a jump ring from here and then i threaded my chain through so if i show you this one you can see how that works so again you can see so it is it's articulated you know it's it's a nice movement there so we've got nice fluidity and i've got a jump ring and jump ring and my chain going through so that's how you can do your you're putting your connectors so they're sitting side by side and have another look at the <coughs> excuse me at the bracelet so you see i've made lots of the jump rings here but connected them this time so it's sitting next to in lengthways rather than going across and you can see how, how that works and again it's really lovely and fluid and comfortable to wear so yeah i hope you've enjoyed that i hope everyone's safe and well um, and thanks for your patience again for doing the demos in the shoe box um, right, take care everybody, bye.